for this last lesson, we are going to be looking at tip, markup, tax, discount, and commission. So all things that involve percentages related to real life scenarios. So it's broken down into sections. First, we're going to talk about sales tax. So sales tax is an additional amount of money charged on items that people buy. It is calculated as a percentage of the purchase price. So the total cost of an item is the regular price plus the sales tax. So it's important to note too that the sales tax is the part. So let's look at an example. Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140. The sales tax is 5.75% what is the total cost of the equipment? So I'm going to circle this information that's given to us. And you can solve this without sending up a proportion. I'm just going to do it with a proportion. So we know percent is out of 100. I'm plugging in what I know. So we have the percent, 5.75%. And then the part versus the whole. Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140. So that is the cost. We are trying to look for what is the tax amount. So I'm going to solve this proportion. We've got our two diagonals. I'm going to multiply 140 times 5.75, which equals 140 times 5.75 equals 805. And divide by the number in the same diagonal as the variable divided by 100 equals 8. So this is the tax amount. So what was the total cost? That's important here. It's asking what is the total cost? Well, you're not just paying $8.05. That's the tax. You're adding it on to the price of the item, which gives you a total cost of $148.05. So that's an example of sales tax. Let's look at an example for tip or gratuity. They mean the same thing. So same as sales tax, it's a small amount or percentage of money in return for a service. You might tip um, some, a waitress or a waiter. You might tip someone at the airport if they helped spring your bags or something like that, right? Um, so it's calculated as a percentage of the pre-tax amount. This is the most important part here. I want you to highlight this. I want you to put a star next to it or something so that you are not going to forget it. This is where I see the most mistakes this unit. So tip is calculated before the tax. The total cost is going to equal the regular price plus tax and tip. Sometimes we're just going to include tip, but we're going to say some instances tax is included as well. And then just like before, tip is the part. So example two, a customer wants to tip 15% on a restaurant bill that is $35. What will be the total bill with so again, you don't have to use a proportion, but I'm going to. So I'm setting up my blank percent proportion with 100 on the bottom, looking at the key information. The percent is easy to spot. And then our part would be the tip, our whole would be the bill. So the bill was $35, which means we are solving for the tip. We've got our proportion.
I'm going to multiply 35 times 15, which equals 4,025, and dividing by the number in the same diagonal as the variable, so dividing by 100, and we get, uh, let me double check. Sorry, that was wrong. 15, this is not equal to that. 35 times 15, which equals 525, which when you divide by 100 is $5.25. So that's the tip there. So what will the total be, bill be with tip? Well, we're gonna take that $35 plus the $5.25 which equals $40.25. One thing that I will show is that you can actually also do this in one step sometimes. So let's say, and you don't need to write this down, if I know that I'm adding 15%, I can fill this out as a percent proportion, still out of 100, we still know the original bill is 35. We're trying to find the final cost, but we're going to say the bill is 100% of the cost plus 15% of the tip, so you're paying 115% of that original cost. If you calculated this all at once, you wouldn't have to do the adding. It would just bring you straight to this answer. So both ways would work. All right, markup. When a store sells items for more, then it pays for them. The amount of increase is called the markup. So they have to make some money, they're marking it up so they can make that money. The selling price is the amount the customer actually pays. So they buy, they have a product, they mark up the price from what they paid for it, and then they have a selling price. So a store pays $56 for a GPS navigation system. The markup is 45%. Find the selling price. So again, I'm going to set up my proportion, circle my key numbers, 45%, and then our value is $56. We're trying to figure out what is 45% of that. I'm going to solve this proportion. I'm multiplying 56 times 45, which is 2,520, divided by the number in the diagonal with the variable, which equals $25.20. So what is the selling price going to be? We're going to take that $25.20 and add it to the $56, which gives you a total of $81.20 is what the customer is paying. Just like we did for the last one, you technically could solve this in one step by saying, okay, we have 100% is 56 plus the additional 45% markup, which would be that the customer pays 145%. If you solved that, you'd get straight to this answer. Discount, markdown, same thing. So a discount is the amount by which the regular price or an item is reduced. The sale price is the regular price minus the discount. So a DVD normally costs $22. This week it is on sale for 25% off the original price. What is the price of the DVD? So setting up my blank proportion, The 25% is the what we're looking at here, and then 22 is the original price. So we're trying to figure out what is 25% of that 22. I'm going to solve that proportion. So I'm going to multiply 22 times 25, 
which equals 550, dividing by the number in the same diagonal as the variable equals $5.50. So that's not our answer. We're, this is what's being discounted. So we're taking our original price of $22 and we're subtracting the $5.50, which gives us $16.50. For this one, if we were gonna do it in one step, what you have to think about is instead of adding the percent, we're gonna subtract it because it's a discount, right? So if we set up our blank proportion, we know the DVD costs $22. It's 25% off. So instead of doing 100 plus 25, we'd do 100 minus 25, which is 75. And if you calculate and solve this proportion, you would get the same answer, $16.50. And then the last part we're going to look at before we start combining these things is commission. So commission is the amount of money that is paid to an employee or company as an incentive to sell more. And it, that's what's called a commission. Commission is a percentage of the sales price. So people earn commission on selling you cars or um, shoes or houses you know if you've ever walked into like a Best Buy a lot of times they are earning commission and that's why they will come up to you immediately and see if you need help so they're making money off of selling something to you number five a stockbroker receives a commission of 11% for selling annuities to his clients if he sells $50,000 in annuities how much commission will he earn so I'm going to set up my blank proportion, fill in 11%, his selling is $50,000. We are solving for the part, what is 11% of that? So we're going to solve our proportion. Multiplying 50,000 times 11 which equals $550,000 divided by 100 equals $5,500. That's a pretty good commission there. And that's it, because it's just asking what is the commission that he's going to earn. That is the amount. That is the 11% of the annuity. So now what we're going to look at is some multi-step problems, and this is where it gets a little bit trickier. I think you guys do a really good job when you're doing them independently, but when you combine them is where you have to be careful of what comes first. As I said on the last page, the most important thing to remember is that tip is calculated as a percentage of the pre-tax amount. So number one, Jennifer's um, bill from her dinner at Maggiano's was $95. If sales tax is 8.75% and she left a 20% tip, how much did she end up paying? So first, I'm going to look at tax. So if I set up a blank proportion here, her bill was $95. The sales tax is 8.75. We're solving for how much that is. I'm going to multiply 95 times 8.75, which equals $830. And divide by 100 and I get 8.3125 which I'm going to round to about 8.31 8 $8.31 so wait to round until the end so that you don't have any mistakes we'll try to be as close as possible to what our answer is so that was for the tax for 
hip. And this is where I said you have to be careful. Most common in the most common mistake is that people will add this tax to the $95 and take that value, so take that $103.31 and tip on that. The tip is on the pre-tax amount, which means it's on the original $95. So I'm setting up my blank proportion. The tip is 20% on the original cost, the $95. I'm gonna highlight my diagonals and solve this proportion. So I'm gonna multiply 95 times 20, which is 1,900 divided by 100 equals 19. So how much did she end up paying? We're going to take the original bill of $95 plus the tax of $8.31 plus the tip of $19. So when we add that all up, 95 plus 831 plus 19, we get $122.31. For the total cost. Do a couple more of these multi-step problems. Number two, a cell phone is on sale for 30% off. If the sale price is $239.89, what is the original price? So, We've got it on sale for 30% off. This is what the sale price is. What was the original price? So this is a little bit tricky because we're not asking you to find the discount and take it off. We're saying, here's what it was on sale for. What did it cost originally? So what we have to think about, if it was on sale for 30% off, the sale price is 70% of the original. So if we're setting this up as a proportion, we are trying to solve for the whole. We want to know what that original price is. We know the sale price, which is the part, that's not the whole entire price, that's part of it, which is why it goes on the top this time. And we're not putting 30% off. This is equivalent to 70% of the price because that is with the 30% taken off of it, this equals 70%. And we are solving for what that whole original value was. I'm gonna solve this proportion, $239 89 cents times 100 equals 23,989 divided by the number in the diagonal with the variable, so divided by 70 equals 342 dollars and set point seven which if we're talking about money, we need two decimal values, so in 70 cents. Number three, Megan bought 50 beads for $9.95. She received a 10% discount and she paid a sales tax of 6%. How much did she pay for the beads? So we gotta be careful as we're taking these steps. So this is what the beads cost, $9.95. She has a $10% 10 discount, and then we have a sales tax of 6%. So what we have to know is how these steps go in place. You take the discount off first, and then you do the tax. So any discounts first, 
tax comes after that. So I'm going to first look at our discount and set up my blank proportion. The cost of the beads was $9.95. The discount is 10% off. So let's calculate what that is. So I'm going to multiply 9.95 times 10, which is 99.5, divide by 100, which equals 0 0.995, which I'm going to round that. The 5 rounds the 9 up, which rounds the 9 up to about $1. Now, for the sales tax, we're going to take this discount off. So $9.95 minus the $1 discount brings you to $8.95. So when we do the sales tax, we're going to do the tax on this amount. So if I set up my proportion. The amount that we're looking at is $8.95. The sales tax is 6%. We want to figure out how much that is. So I'm going to multiply $8.95 times 6, which equals 53.7, and divide by 100 equals 0 0.537, which is about 0 0.54. So for our final cost, we are taking our $8.95 plus our tax of 54 cents, which gives us a total of $9.49. All right, one more problem. A shirt that costs $12.50 was marked up by 22%. What would a customer pay for this item with a 6.5% sales tax add-in? So let's first remember sales tax is going to come at the end, so we're going to do the markup first. We have a shirt that cost $12.50 marked up 22%. So I'm going to calculate that first. Setting up my blank proportion. We're looking at 22%. The original cost was $12.50. So I'm going to multiply $12.50 times 22, which equals 275. Divide by 100 equals 275. So that's the markup. So to figure out the cost, we're going to take that 275 and add the original cost of 1250. And that gives us a total of $15.50. So that's our markup. Now we're going to apply the tax. Set up my blank proportion. The sales tax is 6.5%. The total amount that the customer has paid is $15.25 for the shirt. Let's figure out what the tax amount on that would be.
I'm going to multiply 15, 25 times 6.5, which equals 99.125 divided by 100, which equals 0 0.99125, which is about 99 cents. So we had our markup was 15.25, our tax was 99 cents, so I'm going to add those two together to figure out that our total cost is $16.24.